So you have a new head that you just bought and you want to fit it in? Or you had gone for the holidays and you had taken your head out from the machine and the dampers are hanging? Stick around and I'm going to show you how to install it. First things first, turn on your machine. What we're going to do now is we're just going to move it to the middle of the bed and turn it off so that the first thing we do is install our head before we put ink into the dampers. Right, with my head in the middle as you can see, I'm going to switch the machine off. Right, so this is my head. Also, I have the connection cables, two of them, one for the left and the other for the right. First thing I'm going to do before I plug my head in is I'm going to plug in my cables and fasten them to make sure no ink is going to spill into the head circuitry. Watch. Matching every track that I have on the head and every pin that I have here, I'll carefully insert the cables. After having done that, the masking tape you see on the head here is simply a preventative measure to make sure that if any ink had to flow down here, it would not immediately get into the head before having this barrier to stop it. In addition to this, I'm also going to add some masking tape as a further preventative measure for any inks that might flow into the circuitry on the head here. And then of course I'm going to cut it nicely so that my screws can be able to move through. So we're going to call this part head preparation and with it being done now, all I'm simply going to do is plug in the head. If you check here, there are four slots that I have here and what I'm going to do is, making my head face down, I'm simply going to line those holes with every screw that I have on the head. One, two, three and four. And with my screwdriver here, I'm simply going to tighten it. Remember this is an aluminum bracket. Knowing that if you over tighten your screws, you're continually going to be wearing it out. And that might have to cause you to keep on buying new brackets to keep changing. Now after you've put your head like this, all you need to do is give it a slight nudge to see if it's not shaking. And with all being equal, if all your screws were the same, the head would be level. But if not, you might want to move it to the end. There's a mirror there where you're just going to check underneath to see if everything is even. Call it. And all I need to do is to check on the reflective surface if my head is not tilted in any case. Okay, so everything looks fine and I'm ready to put my dampers on. I'm simply just going to move my head to a position where I can easily work at. And this fastening here, I had just done it to keep my dampers in one position. You can use any other means you may find to be convenient for you. Alright, so right about now is when we're going to put the ink into every damper. And things are going to get a bit messy from here. So tissue is going to be quite a friend. Let me show you how you simply can fit it here so that any ink spillage is not going to be able to get into your head circuitry. The most important part to protect is when the belt gets into the head. So I'm simply going to put a tissue here and another one on the other side. With my circuits being protected, I'm going to take every damper, pull the ink through, making use of the syringe of course, and then plug it into the head. Always make sure your damper is facing downwards when you pull the ink so that when you pull the ink, it's not going to fill the syringe instead of the damper. Once you see a little bit of ink in your syringe, that's it. And you plug it in. It is advisable at this point to always have a waste ink bottle where you can immediately throw away the ink that you suck because you don't want to be able to mix the other color ink with whichever other color is in the other damper. 
Example, this is my black and I wouldn't want to feed it into my yellow. And so you do the same for all the other dampers and pull the ink one damper at a time. Now, remember when you're dealing with your magenta and cyan, because these are single pipes which split into two when we get to the dampers. When you pull any off the two, you're gonna to need to lock one damper and then pulling into the other. Otherwise, all the air is gonna be flowing to this one. Now, whatever damper arrangement you have here, you will of course have to match it with the ink arrangement that you have in your alignment tool for the machine. A good thing to note here is, if this was a new installation and there had been no ink prior in my ink pipes, it would take about two or three of these pools to be able to finally get ink into the damper. As of the moment, there was already ink in here and I'm just replacing the head, but there was already ink in the pipes. So it doesn't take as long to get ink into the syringe. So that's done and the next thing I need to do simply plug in the cables into the circuitry on top here. It is also a very good practice to just keep a bit of tissue here. It may not be as aesthetic, but it will go a long way in showing you if there's any ink that might be flowing here. Now these are my two cables. As I am facing the printer head, this is on the right and this is on the left. There is a carriage connector on my carriage board right here. Now whether you have a single layered carriage board or a double layered carriage board like this, they will all have this in common. A connector. Now on this connector, it is labeled right and left. And that orientation is as you're facing the printer. I'm gonna take my belt on the right and plug it on the right port. Note here, Normally when people get an error 16 on their machine, it is because of this connection that would have been misaligned. And the misalignment is between the pins that you have on the belt and the tracks that you have here. So you simply want to match those carefully before you push it in, align. Once you feel like everything is aligned, then you can simply push it down. And of course, just try to check if all the pins and the tracks are matching. Right. With everything ready, I'm just gonna fasten my belts and plug them in. Also, as you take the connector in to the carriage board, just make sure you also align the pins on the connector with the pins on the carriage board. And please use as little force as possible especially for the flat boards, because they might break the tracks in between if you put too much force. So we're done here with the head connection. And all I need to simply do is first of all, make sure that there are no screws or any tiny particles in the bed that might damage my head as I move it towards the carriage station. So I'm simply gonna move it as close as possible and I'm gonna turn the machine on. However, some people would rather prefer, or ask technicians, to not have this connection first before you do the manual pump to make sure ink is flowing through your head, and then plug it in after you make sure that ink is flowing through. However, in any case, you still have to connect it here, and always make sure the printer is off when you have this connection on. So what I'm going to do now is align my cap with the head 
given that of course they may have not been exactly in line with each other. After that, I'm going to do a manual pump. This is to make sure that ink flows thoroughly through the dampers from the tanks at the back into the waste bottle that is down here. All right, so on this section of aligning the cap with the head, you can refer to our video that we have on our YouTube channel, Achievement Matters. Now, I'm using another bottle here so that you see ink is supposed to be coming through one of these two pipes. One of them is for any spillage and the other one is for the pump. So you actually just want to look out for one of the pipes. And as you can see, there's ink inside here, so ink is flowing through. Now with that being done, I am certain that ink is flowing through the head. And I'm going to do a clean nozzle function here. And right after that, put my vinyl on and do a nozzle test. Now I'm going to do my nozzle test. And as you can see, squeaky clean. Alright, so that's it. Basic head installation. Whether you're reinstalling your old head, or you just bought a new head, or you just got a new printer. Alright, for more videos like this, and for support on any other problems that you have, contact our support number, or 60-600-6000. Also, you can visit our YouTube channel, Achievement Matters, or any of our other websites on am.co.za. Cheers. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our tenth anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Grand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in twenty twenty three. The facility will comprise a massive two thousand square meter warehouse. 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space, and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.